Hello and welcome back to Star Stable. We're still at Golden Leaf Stables. We've got plenty to do here and I'm so excited because this is all still all brand new and um, I think Eva's got a race for me so I'm looking forward to that one. Let's start with that one. Yes, a backwards p proposition. It was a great idea to use the same track in the opposite direction. The track is ready for a test ride. Go ahead, Mira. You should be the first to try it since it was your idea. Was it? Well, I'm smart. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. I don't remember how the racetrack went. So that's going to be um, fun. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Fence. I really like the music in this race. Almost there. Almost there. Yay! Oh, I have best res Oh, I have the on only result. But yay! That was fun. Was it fun? Great. I'll open the race up for everyone else to ride it in the opposite direction then. You do that! Yay! Okay. Yeah, we've got three new races for training videos. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I should do one soon. <laughs> uh, Karin had something about seahorses. <laughs> that was, yeah, I saw that last week. Hi Mira, do you see the beautiful ho horse over there? Um, which one? <laughs> that horse needs to be taken to Herman in Jovic stables and I'd like your help with that. Captain Bruce always goes there on his sea voyages and he has promised to deliver the horse to Herman, but first we need to get the horse to his ship. Captain Bruce is standing on Longbridge, it's, so it's not far. If you stay close to the horse and lead the way, it shouldn't be a problem. The horse is the one over there at the tree by the wall opposite the stable. Okay. Um, you? I, oh, yes, you are the horse. You're a handsome fella. Kind of looks like the uh, Hanoverian over there. It's more reddish. Okay, come on. You gotta go to um, Captain Bruce. Come, I'm coming, I'm coming. No. <laughs> what is wrong with Sinner today? Okay, here we are. Hello, Captain Bruce. Arr! Here comes a rider with the old horse that should be taken on the boat to Jovic stables. If only I had managed to get out to sea, then Herman would get to see his horse again tomorrow. <coughs> Before I can get back out on the big blue sea, I need the help of a brave rider like you. When you are ready to depart, I have a nice gift for your horse. Oh, I like gifts. My sailors seems to have started a mutiny. They are hiding in town, and I can't find those fools. It's strange. They used to be loyal and trustworthy, but now they are acting like shady smugglers. See if you can find them and make them understand it's time to cast off. There are five of them, and they're rumbling around the bridges in the fishing village. Come back later and let me know what's going on. Okay. There was a couple over there, but I see a few here. Three. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's one more. Walking. There's 
Yep, yep, up there. Oh, there's two more. Two more. Couple. Come on. There we go. That was easy. They were all like right here. There, I found your sailors for you. Yar, you found all five sailors and all said they were ready? That's good. I knew I could count on them. But I need to talk to them and tell them they need to sharpen up and stop acting like hairy shrimp smugglers. On my ship, we do it right or not at all. Now we only have one more problem to solve. Okay. Um, before I weigh anchor and steer my ship towards Jovik Stables, I need to get our cargo on board. We were loaded and ready to go, but the mayor called saying he has something else to add to the load. Speak with the mayor to find out what he wants to take and ask him to hurry up. The wind is just right and I don't want to wait longer than necessary. Okay. Okay, let's go talk to the mayor. There, you wanted something shipped? Hi Mira, it's true. I do have some antique porcelain dinnerware that has been in my family for generations. It's so fragile and delicate, I haven't dared transport it to Captain Bruce before. Okay, well I can do that. Careful Mira, careful. That box you're holding contains a delicate set of china that has been in my family for generations. I never use it so my sister can have it. I thought Captain Bruce could ship it to her. I never felt I could trust anyone to do it before, which is why I still have it. You are a careful and skilled rider, Mira. Ride carefully with the box to Captain Bruce. But please, please be extremely careful. Oh, don't worry. I can be careful. There we go. Let's let's take it slow. And uh, everything's going to be okay. Here we go. I've got uh, China from the mayor. <laughs> Ahoy! You're in no hurry, I can see, Mira. A fragile dinner set. Now I understand what took you so long. You had to ride slower than a snail in peanut butter. There we go. Down in the cargo room with it. Crash, shatter, tinkle. Well, I don't think that the China's okay anymore. <laughs> that ought to do it. Okay, we're ready to sail. Oh, great. Now, where is my first mate? I'm eager to cast off. The last time I saw him, he was up near the fishing village lighthouse, running around like a headless chicken. Who knows what he was up to? Mira, please ride over there and tell him to get back here on the double, or I will have him keel-hauled. Okay. I'm not sure what having somebody keel hold means but it doesn't sound pleasant <laughs> let's let's go to the lighthouse and find the first mate oh no where where are you going i'm guessing he, he, she was a bit hungry okay is that him that's him that's him Okay, you're gonna be keel hauled if you not. Wait, 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 wait! I'm talking to you. There. <laughs> oh, hi. Captain Bruce is looking for me. Well, you see, there's a bit of a situation. We can't leave just yet because I can't find the navigation chart and my compass. I lost them when I was up by the lighthouse. I think the wind might have blown them away. You see. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Yes, the wind ripped the navigation chart right out of my hands and blew it out to sea. I don't really know what to do. What? You think you can just ask the mayor for a new one? It would be really kind of you if you could do that. I really don't want to be keel-hauled. Okay, let's take the other one too. Well, the compass was attached to the chart when it blew out to sea. So the compass must have fallen down from the top of the lighthouse and landed around here somewhere. I've looked everywhere down here, but I can't find it. What did you say? It might have fallen further down? Oh no, I hope it hasn't broken. Okay. So... Somewhere down on the beach, I'm guessing. Uh, let's talk to the mayor and see if we can get the charts. There you are. We need some uh, charts. 
Hi, Mira. Of course I can issue another sea chart for you. You and Captain Bruce and his staff are friends of the city, so of course we'll help him out. No, guess what, Mira? My sea charts are gone. Who could have taken them? Maybe they went missing when the key was stolen. You think you know who might have taken them, you say? Um, oh, the smugglers. Okay. Uh, let's go ask the smugglers if they've got the sea charts. Come on, Sinner. Let's go. Oh, a bit bouncy today. Okay, where's the... Oh. Oh. Oh, they're not here. The cave is empty. Only a hand with a note at the entrance of the cave. Okay, well, we'll have to wait on that till next week. Okay, let's let's go see if we can find the oh, find the compass. Come on, Sinner, let's go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, that was easy to find. Um, where do we go? Back to the first mate. Let's try that. Yep, there he is waiting for us. I've found the compass. Thank you, you are my hero, and the compass is almost in one piece. It must have landed on something soft, like the sand down there. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Sorry about the sea charts, we have to wait on those. Okay, I have more time for some more question, and I promised Jasper I'd come and help with this farm, and I haven't done so yet. So I think now's a good time to uh, help at least a little bit. I mean, I don't have time to do everything, I guess, but, but just, just a little bit. <laughs> there are a lot of exciting things to do here at my pumpkin farm. If you have time, I mean. But if you help me out, I'll have some time left over and can help you with the trailers in the area. Back and forth from the fishing village, for example. And it isn't just work, there's lots of fun stuff to do here too. I have some exciting riding tracks that need to be remodeled and tested. I also pay you a bit more than the usual pay for farm work. How about it? Oh, that sounds good. I like the racing bit. Great that you want to help out a little here. I'm very pleased. Oh, okay. Darn it. The sprinkler system isn't working. It's probably due to all the holes in the hose lying around here unused for so many years. Because of all the holes, no water is making it to the sprinklers. Take this waterproof tape and fix the hoses, and we'll see if that gets the sprinklers going. Yeah, I can, I can, <laughs> I can clearly see the, the the holes in the hose here. Okay, let's let's fix the holes. This on. Okay, yeah, that's that's one holy ro hose. Uh-huh. Just one more. There we go, it's working! It's working! Yeah, your sprinklers are working now. That certainly did the trick. Now the sprinklers are working as they should. Well done, Mera. Oh, thank you. The riding track around my pumpkin farm has deteriorated during the years I have been away. Can you have a look and see which fences are dangerous and need to be repaired or replaced? I've marked them on your map, or in spots, so they are easy to find. Come back to me and let me know how it looks. Okay, yep. I can see one over here. Oh, oh, yeah, that doesn't look good. Oh, there's more sparkles over there. Oops. Yep. And, uh, over there. And I see the last one as well. There we go. I don't think those are good jumps. <laughs> they, they look broken. They're not even jumps anymore. Okay, three of the horse jumps are broken. I thought it was all of them. 
Okay, that makes sense. After all, I built those fences over 20 years ago, thinking that Justin would learn to jump here. It didn't quite turn out that way, but now the riding track can come into use again by you and your friends. Let's hope so. Okay. All right, we can fix the jumps, but we're going to need more wood. Maybe you have seen the four old dead trees around the house? Take the saw from the porch steps and cut down the four dead trees, then drag them back here with your strong horse. Okay, let's do that one first. And, um, I can see sparkles. Oh, there's three. I'm assuming I have to get off. This one over there. Oh, do I have to? Okay. There we go. Get the second one. I'm just going to run to this one because it's next to me. There. there. And the last one was over there, I think. Come on. is carrying a heavy load. Uh, she doesn't look like it. Not bad. You and your horse are really quite strong. Maybe you should be a lumberjack. Maybe. Uh, let's do the ghost dust. As you may know, we use pumpkins for the big annual Halloween festival. People carve scary and funny faces on the pumpkins, put lights in them and use them for decoration. Legend has it that the pumpkins keep the evil spirits away from your home. Have I found a way to make them more creepily alive? As the pumpkins are growing, fertilize, I fertilize them with ghost dust. Ghost dust is the leftovers of the glittering trails the snow spirits leave as they lurk around here during winter. There is ghost dust all over the grasslands here in Golden Hills Valley, so it's pretty easy to find. Find a few fistfuls of ghost dust and spread it over the pumpkins. Come back to me when you're done. Okay. Grasslands. So up there somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, here we go. Take that. How many do I need? That's three. Four. Should I have more than four? I think there was one more up here. Yep. Five. One more. That should be enough. Shadowy heels. Okay, and let's sprinkle them on the. Oh, this one. I'll have this one. Oh. Okay, that's probably. Oh, whoop. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Come on. That's probably too many. them on the pumpkins. Yeah, I just needed four. <laughs> oh well. And one more. 
There we go. There we go. Ha, that's great. That should do the trick. We won't get to enjoy the results for a long, long time though. Pumpkins take a long time to grow. Okay, that's it for this week. We got lots done in this episode. Um, we've unlocked all the races, I think all the races, at Golden Leaf Stables. So yay! Um, we've delivered the horse to Captain Bruce to take to Herman. We're still working on the sea charts, but we'll, we'll get there next week. And uh, we've started helping Jasper with his farm. So we'll continue that next week, I guess, as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!